Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video, we're going to go over five useful items when you're incubating chicken eggs. Okay, here is my five useful items when you're incubating eggs plus one bonus item at the end number one an egg tray the bigger the better um i always find this super helpful when i'm candling eggs i can transfer as many eggs as i can from the incubator over into the egg tray and take them to where i'm candling them um and that way I'm not having to juggle around multiple cartons or things like that. It's all in one tray. And that way I'm not opening my incubator over and over and over again to just get out one egg. I can get a clutch at a time. All right, item number two, a pipette. These pipettes are super, super convenient for adding extra humidity to your incubator. And add little bits of water to my incubator um, and constantly be checking that but that pipette comes in super handy and that is used with number three the number three item is a plastic straw a reusable straw so this one is um, long enough that it reaches all the way to the bottom of my incubator if I do need to add extra humidity I can be extra careful to not get it on the eggs Simply just put this through one of the vents and then um, grab your pipette and pipe your water down through that and into the bottom of your incubator. My incubator is set up that the bottom is completely sealed so the entire bottom is the water reservoir um, and that comes in super handy. When I do need to top off the water or add a little bit of humidity, I can just do it with a straw and the pipette. That way I can avoid eggs and I get it right where I need it. All right. Item number four, um, paper towels. I love using paper towels in the bottom of my incubator. Not only are they easy to dispose of when you're done, but I feel like they help the chicks in several ways. Uh, the first way I feel like they help is with footing. I feel like they give your chicks good footing um, when they're knocking about and trying to get their feet under them. It's a good base to be able to grip. Also, I feel like paper towels help your chicks dry off a little bit better. Um, that absorbent paper towel being in there when your chicks are flopping around on it, it does help them get dried off. And then it also helps keep your environment humid for them. So that humidity is going to dry off of those paper towels and get back into the incubator itself plus when you're all done you can just throw away your paper towels and you have less cleaning to do i do wash my incubator after i use it and before i use it so it gets scrubbed down after i use it and then before i use it for the next hatching it gets scrubbed and disinfected but the paper towels do help make sure that a lot of that grime is already taken off let's see number five so I don't know if you guys can tell what this is. This is one of those, I guess, twist tie, uh, bendable, flexible pipe, holder together is a wire thing. Uh, basically, it's a rubber twist tie, but I love this. Um, I use it all the time when I'm incubating. Uh, what I use it for is usually to reposition things in the incubator. I have a mercury thermometer in the bottom of my incubator. And uh, there's been a time or two where it's, I guess, got misplaced when I've candled eggs. And so I've had to move it back into my viewing area. And I'd rather not open it if I have to. And so this slides down the vent hole really easily. I can position it and move it however I need. Um, to get it in there and then since it's rubber and pretty grippy um, I was able to move that thermometer into my viewing area so I could read it better. Another bonus that I use this for is when my chicks are hatching I like to 
check on them. And so if I'm not sure if an egg has pipped or not, I can always stick this down in there and just roll the egg ever so gently to check the side to see if it's pipped or not. Uh, it also helps in repositioning eggs. Um, so if like an egg is kind of pinned in the corner, you can gently roll it back into the main area. This is so handy um, for when those chicks start hatching out and you need to intervene without opening your incubator up and exposing all of your hard worked humidity and heat to the air. All right, last is our bonus item. My bonus item is my spotlight. What I love so much about this spotlight is it doubles as my candler. So this spotlight has a flat base and a locking mechanism to keep it locked in on position. So I can just set it wherever I need it, lock it and turn it on, and then set my candler on top of it and be able to candle eggs with both hands instead of having to hold something with one hand and candle with the other. This is definitely made it so much better to candle with. I am not struggling. I don't need help. I can do it on my own. And so, yeah, having a way to candle your eggs that you can kind of be hands-free is my bonus tip for success. I hope everybody enjoys incubating. I hope everyone has the success that they're looking for. And happy incubating, everybody. As always, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for our next videos. We have an incubation video from start to finish.